amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I filmed another what I eat in a week video where I track all of my calories each day of the week. And you guys seem to really enjoy the previous video I did. So I figured why not make a part two? The reason I like doing these videos is because I used to be someone that was so obsessed with tracking my calories and I would freak out if I wasn't consistent with my caloric intake and I like doing these videos. I don't track my calories on a daily basis but I think these videos are helpful if anyone else has that kind of mindset to show how much my calories vary. So yeah, if you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but of course if you absolutely hate it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down because that's okay. Okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. So I am known for making my intros way too long, so I'm not going to babble anymore. And let's just get into the video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know I recently started making my own boba at home because it's way cheaper and also a lot more environmentally friendly. I got these off of Amazon and I just follow the directions on the package to make them. And I add either regular cane sugar or brown sugar to the boba balls. And then I add it to Earl Grey tea with some cashew milk, oh yeah, vanilla creamer, and my coconut almond koya drink. I have this for quite a few days this week. I just didn't show the entire process of making it again because I didn't want to bore you guys, but I just wanted to show you guys at least once how I make it. So basically, any day that I don't show my usual hot tea, I had boba. <laughs> For a snack before breakfast, I had just a small handful of these roasted and salted mixed nuts and then I moved on to having a real breakfast. You guys are going to see that I have this breakfast a lot because I didn't want to change what I eat just for the sake of video purposes. I want to keep this video as realistic as possible so I realistically eat this almost every single day and it is peaches and cream oatmeal. It's pretty self-explanatory and I've shown how to make it quite a few times already so I don't want to bore you guys with the details but if you haven't tried it yet, I would highly recommend that you do. I don't want to let you down I don't want to lose you now Will you stay? For lunch, I decided to try out this vegan tuna I found at Sprouts, and I was going to mix this with some pasta for lunch. Um, it was okay. I've had other vegan tunas that I definitely preferred, but this did the job either way. I just mixed this with some vegan mayo, salt, pepper, and everything but the bagel seasoning. While I was waiting for the water to boil, I snacked on this blueberry muffin lara bar, which I had never had before, but it was pretty good. Once the pasta was finished cooking, I added my tuna mixture to it, and in my opinion, I think this would have tasted much better if I had chilled it in the fridge for a while, but this did the job, and I was too hungry to wait for it to cool down. <laughs> for a snack, I had some popcorn, um, some of these cheese puff things, and some nacho cracklings which are so good. I definitely recommend you try them out. For dinner, I made some noodle soup, which is one of my favorite dinners of all time. I just cooked up some vegetables and some tofu, and I seasoned both of them with salt, pepper, and soy sauce. And I also just boiled up these noodles that I buy at the Asian market. I always throw in some nuclear noodle sauce because I am addicted. I'm obsessed with this stuff. And yeah, that was my dinner. Easy, filling, and so delicious. For dessert, I wasn't super hungry, but I can't end the night without something sweet. So I had a vegan chocolate chip cookie from Sprouts, and that was everything I had today. Day two, I started the day off with a yogurt bowl. The base is forager cashew gurt, to which I add a scoop of Sun Warrior vanilla protein powder, cinnamon, and some chia seeds. I mix all of that together until there aren't any lumps left, and then I throw in my fruit of choice. I like to add frozen blackberries and frozen blueberries because it kind of freezes the yogurt and it just makes this really nice consistency. Oh my god, it's so good. And then I also add some Kamut Puffs, this nut butter banana granola from Sprouts, and then I finish everything off with a little bit of cashew milk, and that was my breakfast. No, no. For lunch, I had the rest of that tuna pasta salad, and like I predicted, it was definitely a lot better when it was chilled. And then I also snacked on a few of these vegan Cheez-Its on the side. Dinner was another one of my go-to meals as of late, which is just teriyaki chicken and vegetables with rice. The meal is 
pretty self-explanatory. It's just some vegan chicken cooked in teriyaki sauce. I mean, like if you're not vegan, you don't have to use vegan chicken, but <laughs> just cooked in some teriyaki sauce, as well as some vegetables of your choice. I went with my usual, which is broccoli, mushrooms, and zucchini. And I put all of that over some rice, and that was my dinner. <laughs> And for dessert, I just had another one of those vegan chocolate chip cookies. Like that, da, 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 da. Day three, I woke up and I was hungrier than usual, so I made myself some chocolate chai tea, and I also had one of these Belvita baked banana breads as kind of this pre-breakfast snack. And then for my actual breakfast, I made my usual peaches and cream oatmeal, except I used a nectarine today because I was just feeling a little crazy, you know? <laughs> I decided to have a buffalo chicken Caesar salad for lunch. I used these buffalo chicken tenders from Dr. Prager's and I made them in the air fryer for the first time. I had never done this before, but they came out awesome. I'll be doing it that way in the future. I threw some salad mix, tomatoes and cucumber in a bowl and I drizzled on some balsamic vinaigrette. And then I saw this on TikTok where this girl made croutons out of a bagel and I was like, oh my God, yes, that is genius so i used half of one of these dave's killer everything bagels and threw it in the air fryer when the tenders had like four minutes left and once everything was done i added the tenders and the bagel croutons to the salad and topped it all off with a bunch of this follow your heart caesar dressing gave it a good shake and that was my lunch <laughs> First snack while I was watching The Disastrous Life of Psyche K, which is one of my favorite animes, highly recommend it. I ate about half of this bag of these cheddar cup pop chips. They're basically like little mini Quaker rice cakes. And yeah, that was just my little snack while I watched my show. For dinner, I had some roasted vegetables and some sausage. I cooked the broccoli at 425 in the toaster oven for around 20-ish minutes and i also air fried these yellow and red baby potatoes i seasoned them with salt pepper italian seasoning and garlic powder the sausage i used was the sweet earth sausage and once the potatoes had about 10 minutes left i threw in some baby bell mushrooms which i seasoned with the same seasonings as the potatoes and then once everything was done i drizzled it all with some balsamic glaze I'm fancy and then I ate this with my favorite cedars garlic hummus and for dessert I had a vanilla bean ice cream sandwich Day four, I started my morning off with some tea, my usual tea, and a Go Macro Bar in the flavor Heartwarming and Retreat, which is my personal favorite. For my actual breakfast, I had oatmeal, again, <laughs> but today I decided to use an apple and top it all off with some maple peanut butter. All I do is I put the peanut butter in like a small bowl and I microwave it for around 10 seconds, and then I add some maple syrup to it. It makes it this really nice consistency that's perfect for drizzling. So I added that to my oatmeal, along with a little bit of cinnamon and this was exquisite divine 10 out of 10. for lunch i wanted a bagel sandwich with some chips so that's exactly what i had i spread some garlic hummus on both sides of the bagel and this patty um I, it's a little small. I kind of wish these patties were a little bit bigger so it could fit with the bagel, but it still tastes good either way, so it works. I put a slice of veal life cheese on and put it back in the toaster oven for a little bit so it can melt. And then I stacked on some tomato slices and lettuce to finish it off. As for the chips, I had these old Florida gourmet spicy tortilla chips, which I am addicted to. And yeah, that was what I had for lunch. For dinner, I had the same noodle soup from day one, and for dessert, I just had some frozen grapes and another chocolate chip cookie. Day five, final day, I had once again 
my peaches and cream oatmeal for breakfast along with some boba which i didn't film for lunch i was feeling pretty lazy and i was also really craving some ramen noodles so that's what i had whenever i crave something i just eat it because if i were to tell myself that i can't have it it only makes me want it more and then the next time i have it because inevitably i'm going to eventually i'm just gonna binge out on it so i found it's just better to just eat whatever you're craving and life is just too short to deny yourself some ramen you know For a snack, I had like almost this entire bag of carrots with hummus while I edited this video that you're watching right now. And for dinner, I had some teriyaki chicken kimchi fried rice. I should have made this in my last What I Eat in a Week video, but it's really simple. Just make the teriyaki chicken, pan fry your vegetables, of choice with some kimchi and then once the chicken is done i add it to the vegetables along with some brown rice and then for the egg i use this vegan just egg and i also add some nuclear noodle sauce of course and i let it cook for a few more minutes and bam delicious and for dessert once again because i'm boring <laughs> i had frozen grapes and a chocolate chip cookie so that is going to conclude this video. I like to do a working week, which is just Monday through Friday, because I like to give myself a few days to be able to edit these videos. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hate it, then you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful. You are so valid and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!